Well, Phoenix is dead, Leighton is dead, Luke is dead, Maya is dead, everyone is killed in a book accident. Truly tragic. And now, of course, this means we have to bring uh, Ghost Trick into this. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Yes. We have to get, let's get, let's get Gobsy be in the, have him be the main character. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, plot twist audience. It turns out the main characters were neither from Pestilator or we're Phoenix. Gonna, right? We're gonna get That's something Gobsy. close to a Ganshu themed game with Leighton Brothers. So, okay, here's another weird thing about the saving and loading system. As you recall, last we saw we were going into the next chapter. So you'd think the previous Leon would at least speculate on what happened in the lead into the chapter. But again, one thing where the game can be weird is that it can sometimes be random with what it considers a benchmark to actually change for the previously on segments. Because this is clearly for, you know, before the trial is even done. But no, at this point the trial is done. It, it, it do be weird like that. Because uh -huh. it says we'll be defending the spell, uh, except we already did, and what we're about to go right into is the Layton and Luke section, so... Um, yeah, but, but so she already did it. <laughs> now, Finally, about the, the main do? character again. Let us begin. Chapter one, Mysterious Labyrinth, yeah. And action. At me. Wake up, my boy. Oh, you're finally awake. <laughs> Oh god. That's on the fact I'm sorry. It's even on a red carriage. Leighton and Phoenix Wright, Skyrim edition. Perfect. Sure. It's Final Fantasy XIV. Um, professor! Good. Glad to see you're awake. Oh my god, well, he even says it to you. Well, that's, um. Well, that's, it works because uh, Hino and Yoshida are drinking buddies. Oh so... my god, it's all connected. I didn't feel it all. Um, yeah, I'm fine. A bit drowsy, though. I guess I just fell asleep all of a sudden. Wait a minute. Ah! I feel like I've had one of my hangovers. Wait! Like now I remember! Professor, what happened with the witches? And I... Where exactly are we? Don't ask me. Well, Luke, I've only just woken up myself. I was having this wonderful dream where me and Emmy, um, <clears throat> never mind. Right, we don't mention her these days. Yeah, she's a bitch anyway. We've been here in this horse-drawn wagon since I awoke. We don't talk about Emily, no, no. <laughs> yeah, again, who is she exactly? Um, how did we end up asleep in a wagon? Oh god, is this going to become a bout of dudes where's my car? That is something we must now find out. Oh, so you're too young to drive anyway, Luke. First of all, where are we? And secondly, where are we being taken? I mean, you could try looking out the window first. There's another passenger over there. Let's start by asking her. Or I guess we could do that. You're up, Sheroy. Good thinking, Professor. Who could this other mysterious passenger be? Hmm, I wonder... Oh, come on, no! Hell yeah. Vegetables, they're all quite big and tasty looking. Perhaps it's a vegetable card? Mm, no, I don't think. Where does that come, Professor? We're not in London anymore, are we, Toto? I mean, Professor? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Wizard of Oz reference. Why it's not? too, uh, it's too green to, uh, to be London. Yeah, oh, look, look a hint the, coin! All these pastures, these forests, no, 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 no that's not it. It looks pretty Good. drab. Is this a sightseeing tour wagon? The tickets would be cheap. It's not the most comfortable, either. There's one more passenger, in... so I think it's not a freight wagon, at least. I don't think we're in the UK anymore, shall we? <laughs> we're, all, we're, we're in the Channel Islands. We were taken there. Oh. 
Excuse me, but I wonder if you could tell us where this wagon is heading. Where it's heading? That really is a meaningless question. Oh, God, you're one of those people. <laughs> where we're going is meaningless. It goes without saying, since there's only one place we could possibly be heading. What, what, black Detroit, oh, where, where is it? We're all born to die, sir. To become human. <laughs> yes! <laughs> or, or worse, Brazil. Oh, no, no, no! I'm not sure I entirely follow. Um, what do you mean by one place? It's, 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 it should be one piece. There's nothing else on this route, it's just trees. If you really want to know, why don't you ask the wagon driver? You know, the person actually taking us on this journey. Because he's busy driving. Hmm. Why would you assume I know? Although, whether you ask or not, we'll be arriving at our destination soon anyway. Also, lady, I didn't assume you knew. I just asked in case you knew. No, Why does her head... Jesus. If that's the case, surely it wouldn't hurt to just tell us. Also, the way her hood is right now makes her look like she has cat ears. That's actually <laughs> kind of intentional. Luke, let's take her advice. We may have better luck with the driver. I'll touch base on this way, way later into the game with some of the development of this game. The, trust me, the cat motifs are intentional. Alright, if you say so. I mean, he knows has a part in this, so... Oh god, she's all asleep. Mm. Well, it's like a bit... well... okay, okay. Well. <laughs> so, you finally woke up, did you? I was wondering what to do with you both. I was starting to think you'd never wake up. I get paid either way. Yeah, pretty much. Um, excuse me, but where is it that we're going? To your desk. <laughs> me? Oh my. He didn't get into this wagon without knowing where it's headed, did you? That's very irresponsible, you see, Stays. Well, in truth... We only just became aware that we were in here. Hmm. Until just a moment ago, we were at Tower Bridge in London. What's a London? You don't want to know. Them. Them. <laughs> I'm afraid we have no recollection of having boarded this wagon. So you were just. Oh, that's what you get for. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Hangover Little Edition. <laughs> You certainly say the strangest <laughs> things. Uh, no, that's a that so. Yeah, plot twist, this is actually season five of Stranger Things. You're both still half asleep, aren't you? That's true, gentlemen, it's never half asleep. Half asleep? Of course not! Hmm, as far as I remember, you've both been in this wagon from the very start. Yeah, you've always been here. There's no way that's right! And besides... Wow, so drastic it used to be attorney sound effect. <laughs> that's intentional to the first person as well. No, no, don't get so worked up, Sonny. You'll upset the other passengers. And by passengers... I am fine, actually. One. Hmm, I know nothing about the two of you, except from what I've seen. My job is just to carry my passengers. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't you be looking where you're driving? No, 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 it's quite so easy. The horse knows where to go. To that town. How do you say? Reminds me of that uh, Disney short uh, with the roulotte where Donald, uh, Mickey and Goofy are eating up and they're asking, who's driving? And Goofy's like, oh, that's me who's driving. <laughs> Well, looky here. It's just come into sight. Why not take a peek out? Mm 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Labyrinthia. Yeah, lately Luke just got isekai Yep. Oh, I mean, it is, it is kind of an isekai, uh, actually. <laughs> you died because a book killed you and you were transported to another world. I was going to be isekai, could have at least been Digimon. <laughs> Go on, Dwibs. Captain! All prisoners are counted for, sir! And you can be the other knight to you. Sure. Ahem! I want you to keep it in mind, men, that the peace of this town is in your hands. As you know. Never okay, forget those words. that no matter what happens, the people look to you to keep the peace. Considering that it honestly might as well. We proud knights of the Order will always protect the people. Yes, sir, for honor and glory. Ooh, for honor, I hear that's a good game. And you be the two kids, because for some reason they never diversify which is talking in the actual text title dwibs. Hmm? What can I do for you, my little ones? I want to join the Order of Knights and patrol the streets like you. Yeah, they always mention them as Cecil and Petal, even when it's just one that's talking and not the other. <laughs> that's an understanding, uh, an upstanding ambition, lad. Perhaps when you're a little bigger. Yes, sir. I'll do my very best to grow up as soon as I can, sir. Hmm. I like your spirit, young man, by seeing you. Be seeing you. Please. You look so pleased with yourself. You don't really think a weekly like you could join the Order of Knights, do you? Hey, what a nice thing to say. Every boy wants to be a knight. You sure? Oh, what can he do for one as sweet as you? This Bardley Bard called Bardley. And you be the girl, Dwibs. Would you sing me a little song? Something romantic to melt my heart. Something romantic to melt my heart. Romantic, that's a word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a dialect. Oh, fair maiden, the pleasure is mine. A worthy song for a love such as thine. Fucking bard. And alright. <laughs> oh, the love in your heart and the love in your head is full and warm like a freshly baked bread. He thinks my love is like bread. P Professor, look at those people over there. They're all wearing period costumes. I've never seen that in London. First of all, it's not polite to point. But, hmm. All oh, right. Ah, would appear to resemble the one we saw pictured in that book. Is this just an epic LARPA session? Although I'm somewhat puzzled that how, yeah. has, how we ended up here. I think it's simple. The book kidnapped us. There's nothing strange about any of this. You're the passenger from the wagon! The fact that we are here now... ...is a predetermined turn of events. Well, it is uh, a bit in your game. And should, <laughs> well, should, well, we, well, Winston Takumi wrote it, so yeah. <laughs> well, what do you mean? We were just brought here from outside! Are you saying that there won't be multiple choice endings? That's true. This outside of which you speak, just what exactly are you referring to? Master, I think Mr. Takumi just wrote us into this game. Who the hell's Takumi? <laughs> That's a very good question, Professor. Huh? Well, I mean London, of course. Well, you then.
There is no such place. Nor is there any such thing as an outside. Yeah, Guys, London's been London. wiped from existence. Yeah, yeah that, the basically London that I went to not long ago never existed. No. What? No. What? Uh, lo uh, uh, London's whatever. Like I prefer Montador. Yeah. It's only a mall. Not here. Not in Labyrinthia. Yeah, like Dwibs, we were in a simulation of some kind. <laughs> Yes. London doesn't exist. Stuart, why do you think there's never any good weather in there? Because you're secret of being served as test subjects for a constant bad weather. It's an experiment. What? You mean this is really Labyrinthia? Even so, that doesn't mean that London doesn't exist. Otherwise, what have I been doing with all my life? If we went back the way we came, we'd be bound to come across <clears throat> it eventually. Allow me, Shira. You see, London was a mistake, so we decided to erase it from history. Oh, it's like in a Superman or something. We're gonna nuke it and forget it. Exactly. If you don't believe me, then why don't you take a look with your own eyes? Oh, these be the eyes, they don't miss anything. Basically, oh my god! <gasps> Professor! The gate is gone! Basically, took a look, good look at London. Yeah, let's pretend that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Gasp. The gate we came through was right behind us, wasn't it? Well, shit. So That's now we're trapped inside a book, trapped inside a village, trapped inside the very printing of which the page was printed on! Hmm, yes, it certainly was there. So if that's the case, why does no one around here seem surprised? Um... Seeing such a big gate disappear like that! What twist, this is actually a comic zone style story where Shutakumi's just fucking around with the characters by writing them. The <laughs> hey! Plain <laughs> go! <laughs> this is most perplexing. So we find ourselves in a village that we know nothing about, a gate which suddenly disappears, and now the only person who seemed to know what was going on is vanished before our very eyes. Yeah, this is really Labyrinthia, then could it be that we have somehow ended up inside that book? Fact, actually. Uh, that line that Layton just said, this is most per perplexing, that's the actual or typical line he says in the Japanese scripts that Hino writes, whereas in most of the Layton scripts they translate it to, what on earth? You know, to enhance the Britishness, you know? That's right. Do you recall what happened to us at Tower Bridge? The book blasted us. It was very rude. No, I do remember when the book started glowing, but after that, I'm totally blank. This is why the kids don't read anymore. Yeah, books constant. Book. Hey, look, it kind of happened with Bastion too. Poor kid got sucked into that book around the second half. Professor, you don't think we somehow been pulled inside that book, do you? And oh god, I hope this doesn't go like the never-ending story free. The bit there needs to be drawing conclusions just yet, my boy. There are quite a few people around here. Let's start off by asking a few questions. Let's try not to alarm anyone with how we're dressed that either. Be... That would be interesting. L Herschel Litton versus the Nasties. They're, s they're selling various equipment over here. The variety uh -huh. of items on display suggests that these people's civilization is quite advanced. I'm not sure uh, Jack and Ponzi I'm, can convince Jack Black. And I'm not kidding you, Shiroi. That movie has a villain played by Jack Black, and he calls himself the Nasty. I... <laughs> a never-ending story I, 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 three. Anyway, it's something. You oh. finished patrolling this area, then. To you. Yes, sir. Oh, Happy to report the presence, sir. Well, d to be fair, do we even know how to distinguish between the two anyway? Interchangeable one. I can take turn. Pretty much. Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, Captain. Yes? I don't mean to alarm you, but there appears to be a couple of unusual characters approaching our vicinity, sir. What? Hi there, you two. What business do you have with the Order of Knights? Oh, uh, um, well, uh, we uh, just wanted to ask a few questions about the area. Shut up, you're up here. 
you said to ask him questions. Um, about the Order of Knights. Not right now. Are you really real knights? Luke, you... Shut up. Diplomacy 101. He rolled a two on it, I'm afraid. What's that? You're not poking fun at the Order of Knights, are you? Definitely a two. A uh, real diplomacy is a dance battle. <laughs> Someone's been is watching Guardians called, of the Galaxy, I see. Your group. That was certainly not No. Right. <laughs> we actually don't have your, any bards. <laughs> your appearance is quite unusual. You're saying we're unusual, are you? We usually patrol Labyrinthia, doing our usual duty of keeping the usual order. Tell me, what's unusual about that? If anyone's unusual here, it's you two. Especially with those eyes, they look as black as the pits of hell. Also, oh, what's with that hat? <laughs> yes, that looks like something the devil would have cooked up. And I find it quite unusual that I've never seen either of you characters before here. Um, we, um, just came in the back of a wagon. There's a gate over there. But then we noticed that the gate is banished. You didn't see anything, did you? And I realized how crazy I'm starting to sound now. Gate? What gate? Maybe we should have been sent to the asylum. But there was a gate! We just came through it from outside! There was an old lady and a weird cat dressed lady! Outside? Now, uh, I've been patient with you two, but nothing you're saying makes a lick of sense. It's off to the asylum with you. I'm afraid it has been a while since we've been here on the main street. Mm -hmm. Hey, Buzz, I'm starting to think that these knights are uh, all descendants of the Bobbies in Greatest Attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you mean ancestors? Oh, oh, yeah, sure, sure. That's ancestors, yeah, you're right. But, Professor... Ooh, Quiet, I Luke. We'll be proven to play along here. But, are we really that good with LARPing? There's definitely something fishy about you two. I'm a LARPing world champion. I'm sorry, that was, that was LARPing. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Captain, I don't suppose these two are... No, I doubt that. Although they do look and act strangely. Hmm... Maybe we could test them to see if they really do live here. Solve this puzzle for me. Test? Yes, that might be a good idea. I wonder, what was he about to suggest that those two might be? Mm -hmm. Hmm. I know a good way of deciding whether you two are dubious characters or not. Solve a puzzle? What are you going to do? I'll let Stop you you. And then press the select button to see if you want to give up. Well, it's very simple. <clears throat> if you really are upstanding members of this community, then you'll be able to solve this. But any bad guy can solve a puzzle. Solve? Solve what? Oh, what are you talking about, dudes? No, Moriarty uh... would never be able to solve this. Hmm. Luke, it appears this town is puzzled simpler to those of our own world. Although, to be fair, dudes, he did say an upstanding member of the community doesn't mean they're not a villain. What are you mumbling about? Are you ready? Then here we go! <clears throat> Puzzle 06. Night Training. Everyone knows that here at Order we strive for excellence. Ensuring you can properly block any attack with your shield is an integral part of maintaining that reputation. We are not living here until each and every one of you shows me that you can block. Now, show me what you've got. Oh god, he is gonna stab us. Yes! <laughs> you have to block them all, Shiroi. And that way you can okay, prove that you're on. an upstanding member of society. Pairing is important. Hmm. Basically make yes. it so that every sword is being blocked by a shield, essentially. The answer's free. That's I'm not, sure not a that's potential answer, answer. Professor. Is that a numbered puzzle, Professor? <laughs> hmm, let's see here. Carry the Y. Scribble in the dot. And I think I've got it. By Joe, I think I've got it. <laughs> I remember, like, um, <laughs> when when we were doing Love of the Trek and Love of the Trek goes, By Joe, Sophie. I think I've, but you're not British. Shut up. 
point. It's supposed to be French, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. one of those things where for some reason... And yet, and yet, and yet you sound as French as Jean-Luc Picard. Allow me to show Maybe you. he thinks the British accent makes him sound smart or something, I don't know. Maybe. Well You're done! The French don't count Perfect far. form. You've done the order proud. As for the slackers, consider yourselves training overtime until you get it right. Ladies and gentlemen, Shiori hates the French. Do you think so? It sounds far. No, I don't. <laughs> hmm, truly impressive puzzle solving. Of course, any member of the community could have solved that, but those who can solve it with this level of insult are far and far between. You are no longer under suspicion, although I must advise you to speak and act properly. Today being a special day, we are on an even higher level of alert than usual. Your birthday? Well, it seemed a bit touch and go for a bit, but I think we've convinced him. Convinced me of what? I'm still here. <laughs> Not only that, but it seems that puzzles are a familiar concept here. Which means that if we run into trouble, we should be able to overcome it through our usual puzzle-solving approach. So literally, you can stay out of jail by solving a puzzle. Dandy. That's good to know. Oh. Yes, Pedro? It's all part of the it's all part of the basic message for kids that the series that the Lightning series has, you know, like us, uh, like that your your brain is your mightiest weapon. Mm-hmm. That it seems to be a puzzle after we to this town. Besides, the Kira Targa didn't make these. Too no, right, Professor. Well, I should know this was 2012 in Japan. I don't think so, he, was yeah, he was dead yet. I think it was just about yeah. where they were. He was busy with Azrael Legacy. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, my boy. First and foremost, I suggest we take a look around and investigate this town of Labyrinthia. And basically, I was filming. We were filming this the same time as we were filming um, Azrael Legacy. The set's literally right next door. <laughs> Alright, let's do that, but where should we start? You know, it's interesting. Around the same time that Azure Legacy was being made, Dual Destinies was being made, and so was the crossover overall. It's interesting well, to see Dilma. how the crossover may have rubbed off on the two respective uh, titles Wrong in this franchise. Well, 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 remember, Dover, like, um, I don't know if you saw that video that I sent you, but it's like that guy who made that video, you know, how how prof how, prof how Professor Lightning vs. Attorney influenced the Attorney series, you know, like, uh, um, it's a gen it's a genuine thing that happened. Mm -hmm. Precisely. It appears that Carmine was able to leave this town and return to London. However, it would also appear that he was unaware of how he managed to do so. I mean, yeah. the history series also started having animated cutscenes and everything. So you mean Carmine's activities here might be our only clue to getting back? I'm afraid so. Luke, and I'm very happy about this, Fulfred. First things first. Let's see if we can find any signs of Prince. Uh, right you are, Professor. Let's start investigating. Right. This should be fun, right? Yeah, sure. Who is That's this? That's you, Shiroi. Hmm. Enjoy yourselves while you can. <laughs> the real fun oh, is God. yet to begin. The cat girls are coming for you. Oh, no. For you will no doubt soon realize the role you have been chosen to play. Playing the late. victim? You will play Shakespeare. Yes. <laughs> That's easily one of the best quotes of that I've heard recently. What, what is, this is role playing. What am I role playing? The victim? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where you're standing? Um, well, I might be wrong, but I think we're in Labyrinthia. You're standing in front of us. That's not what I mean. You tell them, Cecil. Me? Uh, well, it's just that this is our territory, you see. Oh, boy. Your territory? That's right. You two just went to walk right into our territory. Oh, I get it. <laughs> you mean we walked into the area you're, that you always play in, right? Sorry, we didn't realize. Uh, do you mind if we join you here for a while? You heard him. What do you think? I guess it'd be alright. The more the merrier, I say. 
I guess the idea, Job, is that we're supposed to just look at the actual models and see who's opening, clapping their mouths, I guess. It's not working. You saw this puzzle you can join in. It's our initiation test. It's weird because other Ace Attorney games have had people who hang out in Paris, but they still just, you know, have the text box differentiate between the two. There are four dolls atop a music box. Each doll is facing in a different direction. Touching the buttons on the touchscreen will turn two of the dolls 90 degrees. Rotate the dolls so that they all face forward. However, you cannot press the same button twice in a row. Now, despite the fact that Akira Tago did not do the puzzles for this game, I would still argue that for the most part, even if they aren't the most difficult, they're all very fun. Well, oh, most no, like, of them. Um... See, see, the thing is, see, the thing is, like, uh, well, Akira Taka was indeed designing a lot of um, a lot of the puzzles for the Layton series. Um, he had help from Level Five's designers, so the designers themselves did learn from Tago over the course of the years. Also, weren't these deliberately easier because you know they're getting in a new audience for this? Mm-hmm. Yep. Even if some of them might be a little too easy. I don't know. I think. Uh... See what you think I, well, I said some, not not most of them. Like uh, I can, well in this one, not, well not not so much in this one. Usually, when it comes to the hardest puzzles in latent games, it's the ones that you uh, get via the, the daily um, the daily stuff. The unlockable, like the the, yep. the ones that don't matter for the story, I guess. Yeah. That was a piece of cake. After all, solving puzzles is my specialty. You mean my specialty? Yeah, me too! It took me 10 seconds to solve a puzzle like that. Really? I didn't know you solved a puzzle. You... You just keep out of this! Nobody asked you! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you are now an official member as promised. From now on, you're number two. Number two? Yep. Luke is always second fiddle. <laughs> you're number one. You should feel proud. Oh boy, the jurisdiction! Not only that, but I want to run on a secret. If you check those big blocks over there, you'll find something I hit there. Hmm. Um, okay, thanks. Uh, somehow, I get the feeling that even if I hadn't become number two, I could have walked around the town freely. <laughs> Does that make me then? You're number three, but I'm number one. I'm the main character. Keep complaining, Who's and that? she might bump you down to number four, Professor. Be careful. Uh, you're right. not the only title character this time, actually, also, actually, Professor. You know what? Actually, you know what? I prefer that. I love my one of my favourite number is four. Is that the copium? No, I actually really like number four. Right. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. I mean, four's. Four is Mr. Twips' favorite soundtrack and everything. Hmm. Isn't it also the number for death, though? Yeah. yeah a lot. Of, a, a lot of numbers can be the numbers of death. Remember, sir, it's it's kind of like how Jova's favorite color is red, even though in media that color tends to use be used for symbolizing evil. I can. And I can. It's used for good as well, though, too. Like Superman, the Autobots. I can I can tell you even you know if it's just my TV function, but four is also my favorite number and it was way before I knew about the double significance in Japanese. Why are you so happy? Not to be obvious. Today I get to gaze upon Inquisitor Barnum and all his splendor. His splendor. His splendor. My oh, well. boy. Inquisitor Barnham? What's he like? Handsome. You serious? I can't believe there's a young boy who doesn't know all about Zach Barnham. I mean, oh. his theme song is cool. Oh, shame. Yeah. Oh, please. Well, sure, every track in this game is cool. So. Oh, yes, it is. He's so splendid and handsome and kind. He's just amazing. Uh-huh. Okay, then. I'm certain he is. Uh, I'm surprised anyone could be that wonderful. Luke, do you know who I am? 
Professor, I thought you said a gentleman isn't supposed to be overcome by his ego. Yes, but truly, there's nothing wrong with a true gentleman. For a while, I never said that. You'll be making his appearance soon on North Pueda. Have you gone to see to see that you will see? And get better lessons, you can't sing. Oh Even though boy. my eyes are closed. She seems to have headed north. She said North Parade Avenue, didn't she? Do you think some sort of event will be taking place there? Luke, were you not paying attention? Ugh, I can't say for certain. But wherever you look, townspeople certainly do seem excited about something. But even I'm not paying attention. It could be that some kind of special social event is being held today. Sounds exciting! Let's hurry up and see what's going on! We were already yeah, told... See, that's, that, that's another thing that could be perfectly captured. That little... That little um, quirk of Lytton Ryan that sometimes gets his riled up. <laughs> it's a very detailed statue portraying it. Well, the characters are not paying attention. Yeah. Well, remember this. There's been a couple times in our Lytton play rooms where you've been a bit, you know, uh, you know, annoyed at the whole, oh, what were you paying attention or something like that. So Takumi was able to even take, even, yeah, Takumi's basically channeling Hino when, when writing these bits, basically. Yeah. <laughs> really I mean, I mean, he, I mean, I mean, I mean, that happened in Apollo Justice as well a few times. Oh? Hello. Uh, God oh, what have we here? A man and a lad, like two lost sheep. It makes me so sad. Your thinking makes me sad. Wow, are you singing for us? Oh, how fascinating. The man is very invincible. You sound so delighted to hear. Minstrel, they were around in the Middle Ages, weren't they? They should have stayed there. Indeed, in the Middle Ages, minstrels were a kind of professional musician or poet, but they died for a reason. Oh, they came they back were really as fucking annoying. <laughs> Although I do find it a little embarrassing to be referred to as a lost thief. My girlfriend. I mean, we're not even Welsh. Killer. Brave, 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 oh, Sir Robin. Wait, we're not supposed to know that yet. Shit. Well, at least it's better than being called a little lost lamb, right, Professor? <laughs> no! Little lost lambs, please have no fear. The bar your shepherd is standing right here. I know, that's what I'm afraid of. Labyrinth town, so you'll always be known. I shall give the lambs a map of their very own. You're right. I did prefer she. But it is most of the time that this gentleman provides us a map of the town. It is my pleasure. It is my delight. I'm only doing what is right. Thank you, You're Minstrel. Still here. This map will come in handy. No, you're not. You're still here. <laughs> ah, the sheep are happy. The bard is pleased. But sadly, that map is a bit of a tease. I'll never give you a map without huh? fucking Why it. would you say that to their faces? Actually, the map I just gave you is all in pieces. <laughs> what? Such a amount of tomfoolery. Now, so let us begin the puzzle, to shall we? <clears throat> the little pulls out a fucking gun. <laughs> the town map is broken into 12 separate pieces. Touch each piece to correctly rearrange the map. Pay special attention to the layout of the streets and how they connect. Like, oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Luke, oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Luke, my what? cat's not here. I can already imagine Bardley following um, following Leighton as his minstrel. Brave so Leighton didn't have any fray to be mashed into a pulp. Or have his eyes gouged out and his elbows broken. Brave, 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 brave Sir Leighton. I can't even kill, I can't even kill the guy to get rid of him. Well, Professor, whose fault is it for forgetting the gun? 
So it was like... in my pocket, but when we, it must have vanished from my possession when we teleported. Hmm, so maybe late. the magic book took it away. Sir so Leighton ran away. No! Bravely ran away. I didn't All right. enter. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, then. I guess we'll just have to fight fire with I'm fire. I'm to show you my puzzle-solving skills. Every time, every time he makes a song okay. I don't like, Puzzles I'll return to, to him solved. in song. But won't that really just encourage him to get into a bard battle with you? I don't think oh, he does on bard is. battles even are. Hmm. Alright, fine. There's a risk of encouraging him, I won't take it. Minstrel! Also, what's your Tumblr now? Ha ha! You did it! You fixed the map! Sure well done, done! Now I can continue with my bodily descriptions of a town! Ahem. Ah, the sheep help the shepherd, and now all is well! The sod he can sing, of the town he can tell! You can't even get your own lyrics right! Please, think nothing of it! I'm just <laughs> glad we have the map in one piece! You're welcome! Now let me tell you about a proud town. The first thing you should know is that it is round, and you're welcome. You can see the map. <clears throat> uh, right is a baker selling bread for your meal. Left is a weaponsmith sharpening steel. Go to the weaponsmith. In the north of the town, people gather and wait. It must go so soon, before it's too late. Yeah, before I get back from the blacksmith. There, <laughs> there definitely seems to be something big going on to the north, Professor. What are you going to do, make a gun at the blacksmith? Yes, it appears so, Luke. Let's make sure to have a look a little late. Careful, Professor, we don't want to cause a time paradox. No, 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 Luke, I'm not thinking a gun, I'm thinking a sword. A but, really but, sharp sword. But Professor, if we're in the past, what if that bard ends up being your ancestor, and so you end up killing yourself if you um, kill the bard? Luke, please, do you honestly believe a man with such great intellect as I could possibly be related to this nincompoop in front of me? Um, uh, do you want the honest answer or the answer that makes you feel better? Besides, besides Luke, for all we know, if I kill him, then the bastard who broke my window won't even be born. Do you really want to take that risk? Yes, I do. Besides, you know, if I kill him, no more, no more window breakage. But so join us in the next part, everybody, where I get my revenge on that bastard by killing his ancestor and therefore killing him. I thought you Bones said that revenge burned. wasn't very becoming of a true gentleman. Bye. See you next Bye. time.